what's in my bag art school edition we're all about midsummer right now you know school is on the horizon especially for me and i know a lot of other people out there i am a little bit older for the typical student old is very relative right like i'm still very much a young person but in comparison to a lot of my classmates i am a little bit older with this has come some obsession over perfecting my routine as far as supplies bags water bottles everything so i thought it would be perfect to help others out there because I scoured the internet. When I tell you I watched so many videos about college backpacks, art school backpacks, I was mostly unsatisfied honestly so I think that's where a lot of personal trial and error has come. This video is going to give you more details than you need. If you are a simple, laid back person, this may not be for you. If you're someone that likes to be prepared for every situation, then we were soulmates. Okay, literally soulmates forever. I just like being that person that if someone needs something, I'm that person. I also hate to be in situations where I forgot things or I'm not prepared, it's embarrassing. Also, college is expensive, so if I'm gonna show up and be there, I'm gonna do my best. So overall, I think that translates into my backpack situation. So I'll show you everything that's in my bag, art school edition, because I would argue we need way more things than the average student. I'll kind of go about this very generally because depending on the class, I might need different supplies with me, but I'll just show things that I pretty much have on me at all times. And if you wanna know more about how I carry some of my other supplies a little bit more detailed, I can make another video, but I'll keep this very general. These are my bags of the past. These have gone through it, okay? You know, they served their purpose. It was a learning curve. Again, trial and error. This bag, while I loved her, it was crossbody. My shoulder was killing me. I never had enough room for anything. This bag was literally stuffed to the brim. Also, I just didn't love the material. Like, paints and like lint would always cling to it and it just never looked clean. Second generation bag was this one. And honestly, I still use it every once in a while. This is the Bagu Cloud Bag. If I need an extra bag for support or for some extra materials, I might use this but it's super roomy, it zips up too, so. This one was honestly good to me, but again, it goes over my shoulder. So when this was filled with materials, I was like constantly being weighed down. And while it was a look, she was definitely more chic, it was not working. My back was killing me. So I got to a point where looks tossed out the window. I was trying to find a bag that was functional, and comfortable and had the most amount of pockets as possible. That brought me to my golden child, the LL Bean backpack. This is a very classic bag, it's been around forever. Some might say, Morgan, that's a fugly bag. For me, it's kind of giving like grandpa 90s in the best way. That's how I look at it. This is the navy color. There is a super deluxe version. This is just the regular version and I have so much space in this, so I'm sure if you need even more than what I'm about to show you, the super deluxe will be good for you. But so far, this has been fine. And I love the way it feels. It's so supportive. And honestly, I have this bag stuffed to the brim. It's not sticking out that much. Like sure, a little bit, but you know, it's not that bad. With this bag, there's three main compartments. This is one, this is one, and then there's a back one. There's pockets on each side, and then there's a little pocket in the front. And that's why I love it, because there's so many nooks and crannies that I can just fill with stuff. Okay, sorry, I needed to make an adjustment to my set design. So much better. As far as the very front pocket, I usually just keep super small things here. I keep a lip balm in here, some eye drops, some wired headphones. I have some Advil in here, some band-aids. I also put my wallet in here just for quick access. Okay, moving on to the next big pocket. I keep just a spray hand sanitizer on me. You know, it can get germy at times. We're clicking elevator buttons, we're sharing utensils. You know, going back to school, everyone gets sick, so the hand sanitizer is my way of trying to stop that. I keep some drafting tape in my bag at all times. I keep some magnets in my bag as well. So with the tape and magnets, the tape can be used for a lot of things. However, magnets are kind of crucial. When it comes to critique at school, depending on the medium that you're showing for critique, at least at my school, we pretty much hang everything onto a whiteboard and we hang that up using magnets. I have become, you know, one of those people that gives out extra magnets. I will always 
require them back. I don't mind sharing with other people. I mean, they're literally like $2, like probably even cheaper on Amazon. So I don't know, I think it's something you should just always have on you. And sometimes when you tape things up to the wall, it can like rip corners off after you're done. So I think the best way to like preserve your artwork, magnets are the way to go. I keep this random keychain in my bag. It has a little mirror on it. It's a little cell phone. You know, you're eating lunch, you have a salad. You don't want to be presenting your work with like kale in your teeth, you know, like come on, give me a break. So this is the emergency mirror. As far as the side pockets here, I'll usually put, you know, maybe a water bottle, um, you know, a coffee. I also keep my lanyard in the side pouch. Going back to school, a lanyard is a must. You can go one of two ways. Get the most simple lanyard that you can possibly find on Amazon. Your school might even give you a free one that's just like black or has a logo on it or whatever. Me, you know, the crazy consumer that I am, of course I have to buy things to express my personality. I had a classmate actually wearing a Tamagotchi lanyard and I was like, where did you get that? And he was like, oh, you know, it's vintage from the 90s, whatever. And I was devastated because it was so cute. His was a little different. I think it was maybe orange or green, but I looked everywhere on the internet and I finally found one. It's vintage, they shipped it from Japan. It took like three weeks and I'm obsessed. It holds my lanyard. Oh, embarrassing. That's humiliating. Anyways, it holds my card here in the front and then the back is super cute. And then I also just bought a Tamagotchi because I thought it would be cute. I've definitely, um, you know, have not taken care of a couple of them. A few have passed in my care, but you know, it is what it is. But I just think it's super fun. It looks cute when it's on. It's a little accessory, if you will. But I don't know, I love it. And I also think it's just fun to have like a little toy to play with when you're trying to kill time. Tamagotchi was so fun. It was very much a part of my childhood and figuring out how to turn off the beeping kind of changed my life. I don't know, I just think it's so cute. Okay, moving on. What's nice about this compartment is there's this little like flap here so you can put like headphones or a charger. I keep my over ear headphones in here. These were definitely a splurge for me, but I absolutely love them. I used a little label maker and put my name on them. I kind of thought it would be cute. I recently bought some silicone covers because my biggest complaint with these headphones is when you put them on your ears like this, if you're wearing makeup, it would get on the cushions and it was so hard to clean. So with the silicone, you can literally just wipe it right off. It comes off so easily. And I use these in Zoom class. I use them just when I have some downtime. I love the noise canceling feature. That's a huge thing for me. I like to keep wired headphones and then over ear headphones, honestly, just depending on my mood. And then I also keep my camera in my bag. It's just a little camera case. Obviously my camera isn't in it because she's right here. But just when I'm filming or if I wanna take a picture of something that I like or I don't know, sometimes I like to take my own reference photos. So if I see some really nice light or if I see something that just looks pretty, I like to take pictures. I'm trying to build my own catalog of pictures. While it's easy to go on Pinterest or all these other sites that we have, I think we're kind of losing our own point of view. I think Pinterest can be incredible and I don't think that there's anything wrong with using reference photos. I just think there's something special about trying to capture a picture of something that you saw in your point of view. Anyways, that's my soapbox about that. And then the last compartment is all the way in the back. This is where I keep majority of my items. There's a very far compartment where I put my laptop and I keep my laptop in this kind of puffy little laptop sleeve. This is from Bagu. I absolutely love it. I've had it for a couple years now and I think it looks so cute and it keeps it really protected. I have a couple different pouches as far as pencils, colored pencils, pens. These are my usual go-tos. I keep everything in here that's colored. So I have a couple different Copic markers. I have some colored Tombow pens. I really like these Pilot colored pencils. I use these for a perspective class. My professor had us buy them. They haven't really left my kit since. So yeah, they're really good. I also love this. This is one of those like old classic pens that kind of click down different colors. There's like red, green, blue, and black. I love this particularly for note taking because I can easily switch between different ideas. Honestly, even if I'm just sketching, I like a ballpoint pen sometimes, so I use this. Then I have this little art bin. I covered her to filth with stickers. And this is kind of my black and white grayscale compartment. So everything in here is black and white. 
I like this because it's pretty large. I mean, I can store a lot of things in here. I keep grayscale Copic markers in here. And then these are all black pens, summer brushes. And again, this kind of varies depending on the class and the supplies that I need, but Generally, these two can kind of get me through everything. So that's why I keep them on me at all times. I like to keep some drawing tools in here as well. I have a ruler that has a bunch of different increments on them and also a triangle. I don't use this very often in my like free time or personal sketching, but I had some classes in the past where I needed to use this a lot. So I just always keep one in my bag. I keep small notebooks for note taking. Every semester, I usually order a pack off of Amazon and I make a label for the class name. It's just a way for me to keep organized and also when I graduate, if I ever wanna like reflect back on my notes and you know, remember what my professor said, I have it all super organized. Then I also just keep a sketchbook in my backpack. I really like the moleskin sketchbooks. They can be kind of pricey, so I do use some other ones as well, but, but this is the one I have right now. And that's pretty much it for my backpack. I seriously cannot recommend this enough. I love this backpack so much. Backpack things aside, this is my favorite lunchbox. This is from Vera Bradley. I like it because it looks super vintage. It has a nice kind of feel to it. It has like a classic name tag where you can put your phone number in case it gets lost. And it's like the perfect size. I didn't really want anything too big or too small. So yeah, I think this is perfect. Another element to what's in my bag is water bottles. I use a lot of different kinds of water bottles, depending on my mood, depending on the situation, depending on the beverage. So I have lots of options. The newest addition to my watermelon, <laughs> watermelon, right, water bottle party is the Stanley Cup. I have been hearing a lot of hype about this. So far, I love it. I will try taking it to school, but it kind of feels so clunky and large that I'm not quite sure. So far, I love this for drinking water at home. Like for a class that's more lecture heavy, this has potential because if I don't need to bring a lot of things and my hands are free, this would be nice to have water all day. But if it's like a painting class and I'm already dealing with like a lot of supplies, this is not the one. My classic go-to water bottle, I'm gonna be made fun of, I don't even care, is this one. Obviously, it's small. I love this because on every floor of my school, there's a water refill station. So for me, I just, you know, I go, click the button, it refills, and I'm good to go. And I just refill like every hour. <laughs> And that doesn't bother me. I would rather have this in my backpack, not so heavy, than have this like giant thing in my bag weighing it down that I don't have to refill all day. I guess it just depends on your preference. But for me, I just like something small and compact that I can refill as needed. As far as hot drinks, college, coffee, it's synonymous, right? We all go through it collectively. One of my absolute favorites is this very random hot coffee mug. I ordered this through a family friend that kind of works like an Etsy seller that does customized water bottles, etc. I bought this for my husband because he loves Grogu from Star Wars. It was very popular at the time and I thought it was a sweet little gesture. But honestly, I use it more than he does. So it keeps my coffee hot for a very long time. Another one I use often, I got this from a family member for Christmas. It's so cute. It's just Mickey Mouse holding up peace signs. I honestly don't know what kind of material it is. It's kind of like a, oh, it says bamboo fiber. It keeps my coffee or tea hot, not as long as something like this. It's kind of like a hydro flask, but definitely hotter than like a typical paper cup that you would get from like a Starbucks or something. And there's also coffee stations at school and I like this because I can just easily refill it. Oh, there's literally charcoal fingerprints all over this. Welcome to art school. My last and final water, I almost said watermelon again. I think I'm tired. My brain is like not working properly. My last and final water bottle recommendation is this Hydro Flask. This one is 20 ounces, which I think is perfect. I use this for cold and hot drinks, honestly. It has a little screw off lid. It's a perfect size. It fits in a cup holder. I also have another lid that I interchange with this one. It's more of like a, you twist it and then it's like a sippy lid. Really the only con is sometimes it keeps it too hot. Like it's so well insulated that like when a coffee is freshly poured, it's really hot and it doesn't really have any time to cool off in this. So, you know, like it's been two hours, which you would think is enough time for it to cool off. And you know, you take a sip and your mouth is scalded. So not fun, but I'll just usually, sometimes I'll just like throw an ice cube in there before I go or something. And that is pretty much it as far as my get up for school. I know it's a lot, again, over planner, 
but I try to keep it very general. I think this is good for anyone going to college. It is specifically tailored to art school, but if you have any questions about other supplies, like for a drawing class or a painting class, it can be very specific to obviously the class that you're taking, but if you have any questions about how I kind of carry and transport some of that stuff, please let me know. I'll try to link everything that I listed in the description. And if you have any recommendations too, send them my way. I'm always looking for better supplies. And I will see you next time. Bye.